Hey everyone, Nick Engvall here. Before we get into today's episode, I want to tell you about some of the people that make the sneaker history community and this podcast possible. It's more important than ever to think about who you give your money to when you're buying clothing to go with your kicks. Our friends at Guilty Goods started their brand with a goal of giving back, especially to the communities that make sneaker culture possible. With every purchase from Guilty Goods, at least 10% of the proceeds are donated to organizations like Big Brothers and Big Sisters, the Susan G. Komen Foundation, Movement for Black Lives, and many more. You can save 30% on your order by using the code HISTORY at GuiltyGoods.us. Again, that's HISTORY at GuiltyGoods.us for 30% off, and you can feel good about your purchase knowing you're supporting a meaningful cause. Sneakers are all about presentation, and if you're like me, displaying your kicks at home or in the office is just as important as when they're on your feet. Sneaker Throne makes sneaker display cases featuring customizable LED lights, drop side cases to showcase the entire side of the shoe, not just the heel or the toe, the whole shoe. They've also got display cases for trading card collectors and hat collectors. To me, it's the perfect way to display your collection. You can save at least 10% on your Sneaker Throne order by using the code HISTORY at SneakerThrone.com. That's HISTORY at SneakerThrone.com. If you're a Patreon supporter or a member of our Discord community, you already know about Kicks with V Hot Sauce and his small batch locally sourced hot sauce. V has been one of the biggest supporters of sneaker history and the podcast since the early days. and He's currently the defending champion in our Community Trivia Nights competition. Kicks with V Hot Sauce has been a huge hit with the community. You can save 10% on your order by using the code SNEAKERHISTORY10 at KICKSWITHVHOTS.COM. That's SNEAKERHISTORY10 at KICKSWITHVHOTS.COM. Now, you're probably here because you like sneakers, and if you join the Discord, you know our community is about so much more than that. Whether it's the marathon-like community calls, trivia night debates, the in-person meetups, we're just sharing our favorite experiences. We found that although we have such different backgrounds, we all have some unexpected shared passions. Not only does the entire community look out for each other when it comes to releases, we're like a support group for life in general. You can join the Discord community for free by heading to the show notes of this episode. After you're done listening to this episode, tell someone you like their kicks today. You never know how far a simple compliment can take you, and we all know how good it feels to have someone show their appreciation. Now let's get into today's episode. Georgian trying to shake off Starks. Oh, what a horse! LeBron James with no regard for human life! seconds. Bryant for the win. Iverson. Against Gill, the crowd on its feet. Allen for the win! Yeah! To the Sneaker History Podcast. What up, what up? Welcome back to the Sneaker History Podcast. Hey, before we get into this episode, I wanted to tell you about a couple of our partners. These are some of the folks that help us keep the podcast going, and they've been nice enough to offer some exclusive discounts for our listeners. Now, if you've watched us on YouTube, you all know how we love to display our kicks when we're not rocking them. Sneaker Throne makes sneaker display cases featuring customizable LED lights, Drop side cases to showcase your entire shoe, not just the heel, not just the toe, shoe trees, a number of other sneaker related accessories. You can save 10% on your Sneaker Throne order by using the code HISTORY. You can find a link to Sneaker Throne in the description, or you can just head to sneakerhistory.com slash sneaker throne and it will send you directly to their site. Again, that's 10% off with the code HISTORY. Our friends at Prospect are the premier streetwear brand and sneaker boutique based in sunny San Diego, California. One of my favorite places. Prospect is not your typical hype beast haven, though. They carry classic footwear from brands like Asics, New Balance, Puma, Saucony, as well as local and globally known streetwear brands like Belief, Illust, Rottweiler, Stussy, and many others. Not to mention their own prospect label and the iconic Just a Kid from Dago collection. If you're a listener of the podcast, you can save 10% on all of your orders from Prospect through their website with the code HISTORY10. That's promo code HISTORY10 at prspctsd.com. If you or someone you know is interested in sponsoring the podcast or becoming a partner with our community, get in touch with us. You can reach us by email at podcast at sneakerhistory.com, and we'll get back to you with information about how we can partner. And now for today's episode. What up? What up? How's everybody doing? I got Gregatron with me. It's good, Greg. Up, how are you people? doing? I'm doing great, Nick. How are you doing, man? Doing pretty good. I just wanted to uh, hop on and share some some stuff that's going on within the community. And it's actually really dope because, you know, you're kind of the, the head honcho when it comes to the community. You, I you, guess. you make all this stuff happen, man. I, so. guess I, I do what I can. I do what I can. <laughs> plus plus anybody that anybody that's in the Discord community gets to hop on and get a little sneak peek of the, of the sneaker room I see back there. So Yeah, yeah. You can see the completed Command Force collection. Recently nice, completed. Nice. Pretty pretty happy about that one. Yeah. 
for sure. Well, so we, uh, we've, we've, you know, as we were just talking before we went live, yeah. we're, we're like getting close to th- an episode. I can't even talk right now. We're getting close <laughs> to our 300th episode, which is just absolutely insane. It's completely crazy. We've been cranking out podcasts for quite a while. And I've just been thinking about how, how much better everything has gotten, not just like us on the podcast, not just the quality of the recordings, but the community itself has gotten more people, like yeah. more nuanced things, people that are connecting, you know, like half the squad is gaming right now. So if you're in the discord and you're a gamer, you know, hit the gaming channel because that all the guys are on right now. <laughs> um, so we might not have much of an audience, but I just figured that this That's would be one good. of those things where we could kind of, I guess, officially announce to the public that we do a lot of cool shit in the discord. Personally, I just forget that I don't talk about it out of the discord or on the podcast because it just, we just do it. Right. Um, right. It's just, a da- it's a daily thing for us. You know, we're, we're always in there and yeah. so we all see it, you know? Yeah. So you have been running the the secret Santa. This is the second, the second annual secret Santa. Yeah. This will uh, be our secret our, history community. Our second year doing the secret Santa. Last year we had, I want to say somewhere between 20 and 30 people sign up for it. It was a, amazing time. I think it was the first time actually that I spoke to any of you uh, when we did our Christmas Zoom call that year. It's the first time I ever actually spoke to anybody in the community over the Zoom, and we just had the best time in the world, man. It was a blast. Like There were some super awesome, really thoughtful, creative gifts that people got for each other, and it was just a ton of fun. Absolutely a blast, and I'm super hyped to be uh, able to do it again this year. And so far, we've had roughly 20 people sign up for it. I would really love to see more uh, because, I mean, the population of the Discord has is, is, is grown to almost 300 members at this point, I think. New folks, don't be shy. Hop in there and uh, sign up for the Secret Santa, man. You won't be disappointed. It's uh, This year, we're doing a $50 limit, which... As we know, uh, through some of our community members, you can find some freaking steals for 50 bucks uh, shoe-wise. To sign up, all you have to do is uh, go to the Secret Santa page. There's a questionnaire on there. You can just copy-paste that, fill out your questionnaire, DM that to me along with your shipping information, and you're you're signed up. That's all you got to do. Originally, I was going to have the cutoff date be this coming Sunday, but I think I'm going to extend it another week to see if we can get some more folks in there. So that would be, let me check the calendar here. So yeah, originally the cutoff was going to be the 21st. Let's go ahead and extend that to, or no, pardon me. It was going to be the 14th. So let's extend that to the 21st. So the 21st will be the cutoff to sign up. And hopefully that should give everybody plenty of time to get their gifts together and get them shipped out. I know there was some issues with shipping last year. Uh, and as we <laughs> yeah. know, the supply chain is all sorts of jacked up at the moment. So, you know, fingers crossed, we'll make it work as smoothly as possible. But uh, yeah, I would love to see some new folks in there for sure. Yeah, definitely. And so we're, 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 as uh, Joe has requ- requested many times, we are going to do like a referral program here pretty soon. Um, I've been working on that, but I think that, you know, just the nature of, of how it's been going, like it'll probably come after Christmas um, mm-hmm. just because there's been so many things going on. But I think too, like this secret Santa was, I mean, I've worked in corporate America for long enough to have many terrible Secret Santa gifts, right? Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I will say that when I worked at Finish Line, I ended up getting my own Secret Santa gift because I I brought in four bottles of Mad Dog 2020. Oh, man. Yeah. Which, if you're a drinker, you know that's some of the absolute greatest and worst 
alcohol you can buy. Bottom it's, of the barrel, it'll make you do some bad things. Yeah, it is, <laughs> it is terrible. But I brought it in and, and it got passed around. And when the Secret Santa was actually done, I ended up trading for something for whatever I had. I can't remember what I had. Uh, but <laughs> last year, we we had Secret Santa within the sneaker history community. And what was great about it is that we had people really went out of their way to kind of get to know the person they were getting a gift for, right? Exactly. Yeah, so, that was a beautiful thing. You know, the reason why we do it this way, and, and Greg did this and set this all up, but like having this questionnaire that you fill out kind of gives people an insight into the things that you actually like in your own words, basically, right? You're saying, yeah. hey, this is something I'm like, I'm into. It's not like, you know, I'll just use it as an example. It's not like, oh, I saw Greg's sweatshirt. He's a NASA fan. <laughs> I'm not assuming anything, right? Like I'm getting the list. If Greg is the guy that I'm buying for, I'm getting his list and I'm going through and saying, okay, these are the things that I can get to or know of. And you kind of, uh, you kind of really get some incredible stuff being passed around to people. So you truly do. Yeah. There were some just absolutely amazing gifts. The highlight I think was the, uh, the Tom Waits poster that uh, Andrew got for Joe. And it was such a cool and like truly thoughtful gift. Joe ended up getting it framed, hanging in his apartment in New York. And it's just a, a beautiful piece there. And he'll remember forever, you know, there's yeah. uh, some really awesome stuff. I, you know, last year I got, I drew Travis. And at that time I didn't really know Travis and I, sh I should have got him obviously some one of one pair of uh, super rare Nikes that I could have found for less than $50 impossible. Uh, <laughs> but you know, he, he got some, he got some, uh, he got some candy and some baseball cards and some, uh, Oh, I got him a letter kidding t-shirt. That's right. Cause we, we yeah, talked yeah. about our, our love letter kidding, <laughs> but if I get Travis again, I gotta, I gotta go a little bit more, uh, more rare and, and knowing that guy now, it's, uh, I, I think I could, that, that's the other thing is that we, we all know each other so much better this year than we did last year. So we yeah. can really, really dial it in. I think I'm, I'm super excited to see what people get each other. There's been a lot of people that on a lot of new people, I should say that have really kind of been really active in the community, yes. which, you know, I think that's a, it's going to change everything too, because you're going to have a whole new level of people that weren't around last time that, I think it's just going to be a blast. And so what we end up doing is basically, you know, we set up this secret Santa ahead of time. You make sure you get in before we're going to do the 21st. So if you're listening now, join the discord, it's in the comments right now. It'll be linked in the top of wherever this video lands afterwards. And then go to the secret Santa channel and look up the, the information and, and get it to Greg before the 21st. And then, after the holidays, we'll all kind of get together on a Zoom call of some sort and chop it up and probably uh, have a drink or two and, you know, just share what we got and share our stories from the holidays and, and reconnect after that. So everybody can have some time yeah, uh, absolutely. With, with the families and friends. And, you know, we're not we're not trying to do this in the middle of everything to kind of distract you from from, you know, the people in your lives. We're, we're right, really right. Kind of aware of that, too. So. We will schedule appropriately for that. It'll probably probably be a day or two after Christmas. I, it, I would have to imagine. I'd have to take a look at the calendar, but we'll we'll yeah. make sure that it's clear enough from the actual holiday itself that it won't in, be intrusive. We also have uh, speaking of the of of the the fifty dollar limit, or mm -hmm. I, I I wouldn't call it a limit. It's just a it's a suggestion, right? Because it's a suggestion. Some people have the. Uh, have the the ability to go higher and that's totally okay yeah we're just Nobody, not trying to force people to spend a bunch of money on each other yeah don't go it's crazy more just having fun <laughs> but um we also have a contest going on in the discord for the well the 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 come up challenge is what i think it originally it's it's the I think it's very it's the Barry and Shetta Challenge, a.k.a. the Come Up Game, yeah, is the, the official game, title. Right? <laughs> so if you're in the Discord, you've seen Barry. First one, Soulworks. He is the hunter of all sneaker hunters. The that guy absolute. comes up with more deals than, I think, the entire community combined. And yeah, 
we basically were like, hey, we should have some fun with that and see who can beat Barry at his own game. Yeah, his other AKA is the come up king. The, 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 the deals that this guy finagles, it's unreal, like truly unreal. Uh, mind boggling. So, yeah, I randomly had this thought one day. I can't remember how this came about, but we were talking about something, Nick. And uh, I was like, oh, man, that would be a really fun little contest for the community. So essentially how it works is uh, you you were given 30 days. It's a little over halfway through now to find the best pair of shoes, you know, best is subjective, right? Uh, but the, the, the most fire pair of shoes that you can find out in the world for under $40. Uh, $40 for whatever reason is Barry's magic number. Yep. He, he, he always tries to go for 40s maximum. He gets some straight fire for, for under $40. It's truly, truly unreal. So the challenge is get the most fire shoe that you could possibly find in any condition for under $40. And the first place winner is going to get a free total top to bottom cleaning. I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be the shoe that you picked up for the challenge, but it can be by Barry, the come up king himself. And he does phenomenal work. Actually, I will show you guys. I had a pair of, uh, where did I put those? Ah. So I got these Halloween court force on eBay for like a super steal, like 20 or 30 bucks, something like that. And they were fully, fully cooked. And he brought these things back to life. This was completely yellow. You know, you, you couldn't, you could barely see the skull in there. But uh, like he did phenomenal, phenomenal work. So if you win this contest, you can get the most beat pair of shoes in the world and you get first place, send those off to Barry, and he's going to send them back, uh, turning those beaters to heaters. That's the craziest part is I've missed. So I had a couple of eBay auctions that I was watching, and they just they just got away from me. You know, I just I didn't get back to them in time to catch it. And, of course, you can't – this type of contest, you have to be just paying attention and last-minute bidding, right? Because otherwise, oh yeah, you know, if you put – a little bit more in there you end up going that to that higher price so but yeah i uh i also saw i think danden had one in there today that was like a, a 2009 shadow one for 20 bucks bro he's gonna he's gonna win he got shadow one for 20 dollars in his size like what yeah. how do you find that that's insane it's gonna be fun though so the, what we're doing with that for those of you that are in the discord we're gonna extend that it, that was gonna end what what day are we on? That was going to end on the seventeenth, fourteenth. I believe believe so. Fourteenth or seventeenth, I can't remember. And uh, yeah. so we're going to extend that to the twentieth. And on the twentieth, we're going to do the community Zoom call, and we'll actually have kind of a vote around round robin vote of everybody that's entered. If you have something that you've picked up in the last, you know, let's say thirty days, uh, you know, go ahead and hop into that channel on the Discord. It's the Barry Inch had a challenge channel. If uh, you haven't been in there, there's a lot of there's a lot of crazy pickups in there. Um, we mentioned the oh, man. we mentioned the 2009 Air Jordan One Shadows for 20 bucks, but there's a uh, I forget what those uh, I always think of them as like the Bic Jordan Ones, but they're basically the the black and white and yellow Jordan Ones for 15 bucks. Obviously, there's a few in there for the 30 to 40s. Mark picked up the Halloween Reebok pumps, the Omni pumps from uh, a couple of years back for, I can't remember his, his exact price, but under 40 and they're like in perfect condition. Yeah. yeah. People are finding just the craziest deals out there. It's really awesome to see. Yeah. I mean, Keith got some, uh, some, some dunk man, LeBron nines for 36 bucks. I oh mean, yeah. It's just, uh, there's a lot of really good pickups in there and it's going to be really interesting to see what everybody votes on. Cause there's so many different price points too that I think people and and the value of a shoe, right? Some people are going to look at the dollar value, but other people are just going to look at the nostalgia or how much they like that shoe. So when we get to a point where we're voting to see who, who ends up winning, it's going to be really fun. But the winner is actually going to get a full cleaning restoration from Barry, AKA Soulworks, 
which that's the the main reason you want to enter and get into the to the you know challenge but then we're going to do a sneaker history hoodie i think for second place and then we've got some cleaner to send out to a few participants and then a a, a third place winner is going to get a pretty uh substantial cleaner from from barry himself so pretty stoked yes. about that it's going to be awesome yeah it's going to be great very excited uh what else we got there's a uh, i'm trying to think there was something else i i knew i was supposed to talk about but oh run club I think. oh yeah run club so yeah if you're not in the fitness and run club we have a instagram and twitter account which i am not very good at posting to i'll be honest but <laughs> mike guillory one of the hosts of the podcast is actually running in half marathon in houston in january so we set up a strava account we have a handful of of people in there we've been supporting each other everybody's kind of just trying to get out and be active for 20 to 30 minutes a day or whatever whatever is good for you right we're not trying to get anybody pushing themselves too hard or anything but the idea is that we can all support each other being active as opposed to you know just sitting around and you know at least for me the last seems like two years plus has been absolutely no activity so um <laughs> i've actually been out running three or four times now you know it's it's just great to have people in the community to say hey nice job right because i think that's one of the hardest things about even just doing anything to take care of yourself physically is that it's so intimidating to have all these other people and what you see on the internet it's everyone is ripped everyone runs like a six six minute mile everyone runs two three marathons and triathlons a year and the reality is like that's just not how it is right some people are really <laughs> active and most people are not unfortunately in the u.s but we've got a lot of people even outside the u.s that are participating in this so it's really dope to just see people's pictures from their runs pictures from their you know bike rides you know, the, the places that they're going and the things that they're doing to keep themselves active, which, you know, to me is just like a cool way to kind of, you know, su support each other really. And yeah. we have, yeah. so that I want to say that's the 16th. You can check out the sneaker history run club for the actual end date, but we set it up as like a 75 day challenge. And in those 75 days, the goal is to have as many 20 minutes of activity days as possible. So you know, there's plenty of time to get in there and be active and participate in this one because we're actually going to give away. I have a pair of I have a pair of Ultra Boost 2019s in a custom finish line box, Adidas finish line box. That's pretty crazy. Which I'll put up. I'll get up on the channel in the next week or so, just so everybody can see what it is. But it's a crazy, crazy, like you know, like a product seating package for influencers. So um, I can't remember the size. I want to say it's either a 10 and a half or 11, but you know, and if, if that's not your thing, you can always throw that back into the pot and we'll, we'll find another, another giveaway for you to win. But I think it's going to be a really fun one. Cause I, I think we're going to see a lot of people for, for me personally, like I'm trying to really not, not just be, be active in like my physical fitness, but I'm actually trying to take this and, you know, hopefully establish some relationships with brands and, and other run groups and other people that are out there doing these kind of things, because I think that we could all support each other better. And to me, this is just, this is what the sneaker history community is about. This is why I wanted all this stuff to come to be. And this is what I live for basically is just being able to support other people doing what they do. So that is in the fitness yeah. and run club channel on the discord or at, at sh run club on Instagram and Twitter. Is there anything else? Hmm. If you're a Patreon supporter, make sure that you actually connect your Patreon. So you have access to all the channels in the discord, because there's definitely some people that don't have access uh, that are Patreon supporters. And, you know, it's, it's just a handful of channels that are exclusive to Patreon, but um there are some conversations and some some things that go on that you might want want to see especially if you're supporting through patreon so definitely do that uh, i think that's probably about it i don't know yeah you got anything else Rick? yeah if you're if you're out there and you're listening and you have not joined the discord yet do it man it's just a beautiful community uh we're all super chill you know no egos here we're all just uh we're all just here for the love man yeah get in here 
going to secret Santa. It's going to be a blast. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Cool. Well, I appreciate you hopping on with me, Greg, and, and chatting, giving yeah, some, some people some insight into, into the, the glue behind all of the, the, the discord and the community. So um, happy to be here, man. Thanks for everybody for watching and tuning in. If you check this out later, obviously, you know, hop in the discord and be a part of any of these little challenges and events that we do kind of really makes it even that much better. It makes you want to be around and, and honestly get to meet some really cool people. So appreciate everybody listening, watching, checking us out. We'll catch you next time. Peace. Later. Hey everyone, this is Nick again. Before you take off, do us a solid and head over to Apple Podcasts to leave us a review. Give us a rating on Spotify and Amazon Music and make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel because we have even more video content coming soon. Speaking of new content, we have an amazing community of sneaker enthusiasts that hang out in our Sneaker History Discord on a daily basis. While sneakers is a connection point that brought us all together, we've all discovered countless shared passions that we have in common with each other. We recently launched a couple of new podcasts directly from our community. One of them is a Formula One podcast. If you're an F1 fan like me, the Exhaust Notes podcast is your weekly fix of Formula One fun. It's hosted by myself, Rohit Malhotra, and Todd Yates. New episodes drop every Tuesday. I've been wearing fitted hats for years and collecting my favorite teams since I was a little leaguer. It has been awesome to see so many new fans getting into fitteds in recent years. Crown and Stitch is our new talk show about fitted hats with Dexter, Keith, and myself, where we talk about fitted hats, snapbacks, Throw in some obscure hats because we all kind of like some funky stuff once in a while, don't we? Copping, collecting, and so much more. New episodes drop every Wednesday. Hit the links in the show notes for this episode to give our new shows a listen and be on the lookout for more new podcasts dropping soon. Last but not least, tell someone you like their kicks today. You never know how far a simple compliment can take you, and we all know how good it feels to have someone show their appreciation. Thank you all for the support, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.